I checked my inbox the other day and found that several people had asked me about this. Feral released a tool to get better performance out of Linux machines? And it's open source? Cool. Hi, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and let's talk about this. Game mode instructs your CPU to automatically run in performance mode when playing games. The first Feral release to integrate this tool is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Well, so how does it work exactly? That's a great question. Once game mode is set up on your computer, any game that supports it will be able to request a temporary change in the CPU's governor. To put it simply, you turn off the power saving feature of your GPU and allow it to run with all guns blazing. You also get the ability to configure any game to utilize game mode. You can edit the Steam launch command or run the game from the terminal with a preload environment variable. Some games will ship with game mode support built in, like the aforementioned Tomb Raider. And I say support because you're going to have to install game mode separately. So what do you need to do to get this set up anyway? Right now, it's pretty simple. Just install the build dependencies, clone the repo, and run bootstrap.sh. In my opinion, it's pretty straightforward. It's already been added to the AUR and Solus repos, so if you use those distros, go ahead and install it. For Ubuntu, I just had to follow the instructions on the GitHub page, and it worked just fine. I haven't had a chance to put game mode through its paces yet, but I did do a simple test with Caden Live. I ran the software without game mode and created a simple test project. I added some old footage of mine to the timeline and then used the position and zoom effect, then played it back with the effects being applied to the clip in real time. Caden Live doesn't really like doing real time effects. <laughs> Then I saved the project, quit the program, and relaunched it using the LD preload command, listed on the project's GitHub page. I played back the exact clip, and the footage with game mode enabled ended up applying real-time transformation to the 1080p footage faster than without game mode enabled. To the point where, after 20 seconds had elapsed, the footage playing under game mode was nearly an entire second ahead of the non-game mode footage. That's impressive. I'm interested to see how this translates for gaming. I'm certainly going to be using this while editing video going forward. But I want to know what you think. Will you be using this for enhancing your gaming performance? Leave me a comment and let me know or hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. If you believe in the work that I do, you can pledge your support with a monthly contribution over on Patreon and LibrePay. You can also hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.